Good evening, folks. It's David Silverman covering for the wonders Mickey Manting, who's off doing last I heard. She was in London having a great old time with uh, some folks over there. And we have a full show for you tonight. We have three different sets coming up. The first show tonight is being put on by the ever-present, always enjoyable, get a room, and don't think that there's a mistake here. There's usually four, but tonight, your lion eyes are really seeing only two, and they're truth-telling eyes. Without further ado, because you came here for them, not me, get a room. Hello all, uh, thank you so much Vintage for having us. We are a Vintage uh, Woman's Improv Troupe. Tonight we're missing Hilary Fabre and uh, Michelle Feinblum. We will shortly show you a picture where we will pick out objects for each other and then we will do our best to play those objects with a big point of view. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Xander. Hi. Oh. The piece Lily joined me on screen and it wasn't supposed to. Anyway, I am a big old stuff bear. I'm just kind of lounging, looking down on all the gorgeous plant life in uh, this wonderful shop uh, of flowers. Anything and everything you might want is here in this shop. It seems like the smells that envelop my bare nose get better every day. I mean, when I said I'm looking down on the plant life, don't get me wrong. I adore looking at everything that makes up this room. Now let's meet the Peace Lily. Hi. I'm a wreath. I'm a wreath of baby breath. I'm so beautiful. I'm so lovely and I am going to be the focus of attention at the baby shower. When they come and get me, when they come and get me, they're coming to get me, whoever they are. Look at me. I'm just delicate and pretty. And I smell amazing. Go ahead. You can smell me. Go ahead. I'll just let my scent, my aroma, invest itself all through the shop. I have to compete, you know. I have to compete with the roses and the lilacs. They're heavily scented, but I have my own special perfume. I'm very confused. You say you are baby breath, but I thought that you were a peace lily. 
I, I, I didn't, I don't even know. I didn't even hear what you had to say. That is the problem. I often don't pay attention to other people and the other things, whether you are a bear or a flower. I mostly just pay attention to my stuff. Well, that's probably why, BB, that I don't really look at you that often when I'm looking down at all of the other calendulas and roses and violets and peace lilies. <gasps> you should look at me. You'd like it. Come on down. Look, see? See? Look how beautiful I am. Look how delicate and pretty my little flower. But you have tiny little flowers. Aren't they? I know. So many. So many. And they're and they're white. I mean, white's not even a color. You're not even a flower. But you get yeah. to be here. You get to be here with all of us. I'm a stuffed object, and I'm the only stuffed object in this entire shop. So obviously, Mrs. Katanki has good feelings about putting me where she's put me, above you all. Well, you're going to be taken down because you and I are going to be jointly part of the baby shower. Oh. You're going to be a gift for a new baby. And I am the decor. But I'm too big for a new baby. I mean, why would they pick a big thing like me to give a tiny little baby? I might, I might inadvertently smother that baby. That would be terrible. You might do that. That's a kind of thing you might do. You're that kind shop. of bear, aren't you? I don't want to leave this shop. This isn't very good. I, I... I'm just going to tell Mrs. Katanki that she will miss me all, a lot if she gives me away to some squally baby. You're probably just decor like me. They'll put you on a shelf at the shower and forget about you. Because you're... I mean, it's one thing to be baby breath and given to a baby shower to the mother, probably. It's another thing to be a big old stuffed bear who has their home right here. I'm, I'm tired of talking about you. We, we talk all about you all of the time. Let's talk about me. Well, say something can interesting. You, can you smell me? Can you smell me? Not really. Well, it doesn't matter if you can smell me. Everyone and to tell you the truth, you're looking a little whipped. So maybe you won't get taken to the baby shower because the mothers of this baby doesn't want a wilted plant. You said that with so much enjoyment. Aren't you an interesting bear? You're trying to get back at me, aren't you? Well, I mean, how do you know that we're being given to this baby shower i hear i hear what happens and that's what i made for that's what i grow for that's what i that's what i want i want to serve my purpose i i want to i want to perfume and bring joy well i want to be admired mostly i want to be admired but now i'm tired bring me in Tired of talking about you. I mean, you've had you had your space, so now just zip it. Talk about you now, okay? It's fine then. Fine, let's talk about you. You're afraid that you're gonna something. You're afraid of something. What was it? 
You don't want to leave. That's what it is. You I don't, don't want to leave this space. This is my abode. Where's your sense of adventure? I don't have one because I've been hanging up on this shelf for as long as she's had this shop. I can see dust on your nose, even from here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's very dusty. You're very, very dusty. And you're very, very wilty. They, they can spray me with water. I think I'll be okay, right? Well, I, so. I mean, I have a feeling if they do split you, that you will return in all of your semi-glory. Oh. I have real glory. I'm known for my glory. I'm known for my bountiful blossoms and fragrant scent. I'm known for my high drama and beauty. I'm not known for wilting. I'm not known for wilting. It's all about the I, 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 I again. Hmm. Yes, it's about me. It's getting it. back to you. I don't I really... It's about me. <laughs> I don't care. Well, I mean... I understand in a conversation, it's helpful to talk about the other person sometimes. So, okay, let's talk about you. Tell me one good thing about me. Okay, what do you think of me? Good joke, huh? <laughs> then I will tell you a good thing about me because you won't tell me a good thing about me. The oh, best I thing about me is I'm as big as most little children. The ones who grew up in this shop and held me and kissed me and hugged me every day. You're old. Yeah. That's, that's one thing that I notice about you, that you're old. Yeah. And so? Oh, I just find it interesting. I mean, I, 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 am, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. You are a cool plant. You know, I like to talk about myself and I love to enjoy my life. I don't necessarily want to have to, to, to make you upset. So I, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There. There. What do you think? I think that maybe, just maybe, your aroma is a little stronger than I thought it was. Oh, good. And now, love letters. Oh, my dear, dear, dear Boston Fern. Uh, I'm a little worried about you. You're getting a little brown at the tips. And, and you're leaving a lot of debris on the floor. And I heard, I heard the florist complaining about the mess. Um, I heard her talking about putting you on sale, 50% off. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Boston Fern, I hope, I hope that they water you soon because um, I'm here with the watering can and I, 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 as your watering can friend, and all I want is just for them to put some water in me so that I can come over and I can water you. And, okay, well, that's it for now, lovely Boston Fern, yours truly, watering can.
crisp watering pan. Does it feel to be empty? It's like both of us have a lot of life that could be still lived. You, if you get filled up, and me, if, if you water me, I can feel what it will feel like. It will be heavenly, <laughs> signed Boston Fur. Oh, my dear Boston Fur. I yearn to come over and, and replenish you. You are so dry and dusty. I think they've forgotten about you, but I want you to know that I haven't. I have not forgotten about you, Boston Fern. Don't look, don't look the same as my beloved. You seem to have changed. Oh dear, yours truly, watering can. Yours watering can, I have not changed. I'm just a little browner. I've still got plenty of green everywhere that counts, exclamation point. Just figure out how to fill yourself up and get some water into what used to be your best loving plant life, signed, Boston Fern. Dear Boston Fern, you make an excellent point. What used to be my best loving plant life. It's true. It's, it does seem like I've been putting in a lot of effort, a lot of effort. And I'm wondering just how much return I'm getting um, the peace lily over in the corner, hard to give them any water, and yet they're beaming at me, you know, just turning this way and that. I, I don't get any flack from the peace lily. Just saying, there's truly watering can. WC, compare me to a peace lily? I mean, that won't work in my universe. Ferns and peace lilies don't have a thing in common. Peace lilies never drop, never shed, never turn a little bit brown. Feel like you have lost your mind if a watering can has a mind just work at getting filled up and do your job Sign boston burn dear boston burn please don't boss me around please Please do not boss me around. I'm happy. I'm happy. Look, they filled me up and I'm coming over. I'm coming over right now. I'm coming over and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill you to the brim. I'm gonna fill you right up. Oh, oh wait. It looks like we're going to the peace lily first. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, oh dear. No, not for now. No, no. And watering can don't fill me to the brim because then I will probably throw. I really think we need to have a conversation. 
They've put me right beside you. Now we can actually have a conversation. What's with the look? The look is because you scared me. I mean, you can't overwater me. So much work. Not enough water, too much water. Ignoring you, spending too much time with you. That too much, much fun that we had. Through the bond that developed through all the years that we've been in this shop. Do you want me to die? Of course not. You know, I, you know what I see now that I'm here? I see lots of little green sprouts coming from from near your roots and little new growth. I see lots of new growth. That was that was from all that water, right? That was from all that water. Oh, even with all of your messy brown branches and leaves and mess. You're not oh. gonna make me feel bad again. If I have new sprouts then you watered me exactly right. You look so beautiful. The green, I mean, I do have to say I was interested in the peace lily for a moment there, but nobody is as green as you are, nobody. Nobody at all. Now you've come to your senses. You remember the strong bond that we had for such a long time. It's important to honor bonds because they make both of us feel good about ourselves. Hmm. You've always been a philosophical kind of plant, haven't you? I kind of like that. I mean, I'm just popping up sprouts everywhere. This is... Takes a little bit of water and some attention. And that's what you gave me. <laughs> and that's our show! Thank you, Vintage! So, did they have your undivided attention for that fabulous 23 minute show and i hear it amen thank you so much get a room we will see you sometime in the foreseeable future at a date that i don't know and <laughs> thank you so much for being with us okay thank you, David. we have another show coming up at 8 30 with the music house team and would you ladies introduce yourself thank you. i'm sick I'm Sandy. I'm in Tucson. And I'm Sue, and I'm in Hamilton, tip of Lake Ontario, Canada. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everybody.